Now here are a few conversations related to getting help in stores. Do you wish some assistance? Yes. How much is the pen? This one or that one? The one next to the black one. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to look at pens. Certainly, fountain pens or ballpoint pens. I'm looking for a good fountain pen, please. Could you help me, please? What can I do for you? Could I look at the wristwatch in the case, please? Just one moment, please, while I get the key. Hello. Are you waited on? No. I'd like a ream of typing paper, please. Will there be anything else, please? No, I believe that's all, thank you. Is someone helping you? I beg your pardon? Could I help you with anything? No, thanks. Someone's already waiting on me. Now here are a few conversations related to going shopping. What store did you go to yesterday? I went to the central department store. Do they have a good variety of things to choose from? They have a lots to choose from, but it's all very expensive. What were you doing at the department store? I was shopping for a new suitcase. What was your friend doing there? She was trying to find a coat. I have to go shopping. Do you know what you're going to buy? Not yet, but I hope to after shopping. I hate to go shopping, but I guess it's necessary. What time do the stores close? Most of them close at six o'clock. Do we still have time to go shopping? Yes, it's only 4.15 now. It seems I always have to buy a lot of things. It always seems that way to me too. I always need so many little things. They add up to a lot of money, don't they? Now here are a few conversations related to talking about shopping. Where do you do your shopping? I usually start at the central department store. What do you think of their selection? They have a good selection and their prices are low too. They're having a big sale at the Greenfield Shopping Center. Anything in particular on sale? Well, they advertised linens and house furnishings. I suppose there will be crowds of people in the store. I spent the afternoon shopping for clothes. How did you make out? Well, I found an excellent raincoat and I bought some shoes. That reminds me that I have to go shopping soon. Where did you buy your coat? I bought it at the Fifth Avenue store, but a long time ago. About how much did it cost? At the moment, I've forgotten how much it cost. To tell you the truth, I really don't have much choice in my size. Excuse my asking, but how much did you pay for it? It was on sale, and I paid only $45. Now here are a few conversations related to shopping for clothes. What would you like to see? I'd like to see your overcoats, please. What kind of overcoats would you like to see? I'd like to see your winter overcoats. Probably wool. I'd like to look at your sweaters, if I could. Certainly. Any particular style? Could I see some of the new styles, please? Of course. Please step right this way. I'm interested in seeing your summer suits. What color did you have in mind? White or some light color, I think. Step over to this other room with me, would you please? 
That jacket you have on now seems to fit you very well. What kind of material is this? It's a mixture of cotton and wool. I'm not sure it's heavy enough for the fall weather. Here's a very popular kind of sport coat. The most recent thing. I notice there isn't much padding in the shoulders. No, it has a natural shoulder line. I like the narrow lapels and the stitching on them. Now here are a few conversations related to asking about prices. How much does this pen cost? I beg your pardon? How much is this pen? It's four dollars and fifty cents. How much is this leather billfold? It's five twenty-five. Does that include the tax? It's five forty-four, including tax. This briefcase costs five fifty-five. That's fine. I'll take it. Will there be anything else? I don't believe so. Thank you. We're having a sale on leather goods today. Are office supplies on sale too? Yes, prices have been reduced from 20 to 40 percent. I noticed the sale prices are marked in red ink. How much are these things altogether? Let's see. That'll be 2150. I'd like to charge them to my account, please. Fine. Could you give me your name and the address? Now here are a few examples of conversations where there will be one word or two words quick answer. How much does this pen cost? It cost two dollars. How much do these bookends cost? They cost two dollars. How much does that notebook cost? It costs two dollars. How much do these brushes cost? They cost two dollars. How much does this stationery cost? It costs two dollars. Now here are a few examples where each question has short answers. What's ten fifty plus forty nine? It's ten ninety nine. What's two seventy five plus ten? It's two eighty five. What's six thirty nine plus twenty? It's six fifty nine. What's three eighty plus eighteen? It's three ninety eight. What's sixty nine plus eight? It's seventy seven. What's one twenty plus eight twenty? It's nine forty. Now here are a few conversations related to how much does it cost? How much are your potatoes, sir? 25 cents a pound. How much would five pounds cost? Five pounds would be a dollar and a quarter. What does that gold pin cost? It's $21 plus tax. How much for the small one next to it? That one costs twelve fifty. What's the regular price for that refrigerator? The list price is two hundred forty. Are you selling it at a discount? Yes, the discount price is one ninety nine. What are you asking for that antique mirror? That's one hundred fifty dollars. Isn't that rather expensive? Not really. Mirrors of that type are quite rare. What would it cost to have this chair repaired? I'd estimate 60 to $70. How much would it cost to replace it with a new one? Probably about $100. Now here are a few conversations related to money problems. Can you come along with us tomorrow? 
I think I can borrow enough money to go. Why couldn't you go last Thursday? Because I couldn't afford it. How much money do you have? Not very much. Do you have many dollar bills? Not very many, I'm afraid. You look upset about something. I think I've lost my money. Oh, that's what's bothering you? It's a good reason to be upset, isn't it? Are you sure you lost your money? I'm sure I did. Would you please look again? I will, but I'm sure it's not here. How many pennies do you have in your bank? I had exactly 500 of them. What did you do with them? I put them in rolls of 50 pennies each. Now here are a few conversations related to talking about money. Have you made very much money this year? Not an awful lot. How hard have you tried? Not as hard as I could have, I'm afraid. How much did you make this week? $62. Is that your take-home pay? Yes, it is. And I've got to pay my rent today. Money goes very fast these days, doesn't it? It certainly does. Yes, I sold it to my friend Bob. Did you put the money in the bank? I deposited part of it and spent the rest. Do you have an account at the bank? I've got a special checking account. How much do you have to keep in the account? There's no minimum.